it's Julia. So today I was inspired by spring, which is just around the corner here. The snow is melting and I wanted to do something really colorful and just bright and fun. Um, this will be perfect for spring going into summer also. I think every product except for one eyeshadow, let me just try and remember. Yeah, I think all the products except for one product is all drugstore makeup. So those of you who have a lot of drugstore makeup, maybe you have some of these products to recreate the look at, at home by yourself. Or I'm sure if you don't have like the exact product, um, you know, these bright and fun colors, like these popping colors are so in fashion right now that a lot of brands are going to have, you know, eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and stuff like that that are going to be similar to what I'm using. So I'm going to do the tutorial first and at the end I kind of have like a personal chatty update just to kind of let you guys know what's going on, some exciting stuff going on. And I'm just going to do that at the end because some people don't want to hear a lot of blabbing before the tutorial, which I totally understand. Um, so so let us get started with this look. I hope you guys enjoy it and um, just keep on watching. I'll show you how to do everything from start to finish. So first of all, I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. It's just a creamy white pencil. And I apply that onto my lid. And this is really going to help those colors that I'm going to use appear very vibrantly. I also put some on my lower lid and just blended it out with a finger. So then I'm using the tape method for this whole look. So I just get a little bit of tape and make it a bit less sticky by putting it on the back of my hand first. And then I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eye. And this is going to magically create that perfect shape when you're applying all the colors. Now to do this look, I'm using this brand new sleek palette, which is available at drugstores in the UK. I just got it and I love the colors in it. So I thought I would just do a look with it. And I'm going to start off with this matte purple eyeshadow that's in the palette and I used a flat brush and just really packed that color onto the outer part of my lid and just the outer corners of it I just blended it out with a blending brush just there's nothing on this brush I just blended it out just to soften it a bit and on the inner corner I'm going to use this coral color that's also in the palette and I'm using a slightly smaller brush here because um, I, have, I have kind of small eyes so I need to use a bit more of a precise brush for this and the middle part I left blank like I didn't put color there because I'm going to put another eyeshadow there in a second and it's this lavender shade and I'm going to use again a flat brush and apply that in between the purple and the coral and then where those colors meet, you want to blend a little bit just so that it doesn't look patchy and stuff. So you kind of blend the purple in it and then you blend the coral and you kind of just go back and forth and blend. And then I'm going to use this blue and a teal color that's also in that palette. And for this, I'm going to use a really large fluffy brush because I want this to be kind of more of a wash of color rather than just a really intense payoff. So I'm blending that into the crease area and working that up quite high towards my brow and just blending it inwards. Ray Charles on the radio. And here I'm using a bright yellow eyeshadow. There's actually a yellow in that palette, but it didn't really have a very good color payoff I found. So this one is MAC Chrome Yellow, but you know you can use whatever yellow you have. And again, I'm using a fluffy brush and just applying that on the inner part of my eye and then blending that in again with the blue and the coral. So underneath the brows, I didn't want a lot of shimmer because there's already so much going on. So I'm using a matte eyeshadow that's about the same color as my skin tone just to blend everything out on the top and just to make sure that there's no harsh edges. For the eyeliner I'm going to use this Maybelline gel eyeliner. It's a purple color which I think is a little bit more interesting than just plain black and I'm using an artist brush to create a cat wing shape and this is really easy now to do with that tape that you have there because it'll just magically create that shape and it's just super easy. If you need a little bit more help with how to do cat wing eyeliner in general, I have a detailed video on that on my channel if you want to go check that out. I'm not your girl I was built to so then you just pull off the tape gently and then voila, you have a perfect shape as you can see. And then I went ahead and just filled in my brows using a brow pencil and also just um, brow gel. So again, I have a separate video on that if you want more details. 
Now on the lower lash line, I first applied this green eyeliner pencil onto the waterline and also just around the lower lashes, which I'm going to smudge out in a second using this really bright teal green shadow that's also in the palette. So I just used a pencil brush and just blended that out and I blended it out quite far because I really want that color, the green, to really show up. back in with that matte purple eyeshadow that I used before and just blended some of that with the green on the very outer corner. So next I added some concealer. I like to do this at the end just in case there's fallout. It kind of just sweeps it away. And of course I added mascara to the top and bottom lashes, which I actually didn't show on camera, but I think everyone knows how to apply mascara. And then I also decided to go for false lashes in this look. These ones are also by Sleek because, you know, since I was using the palette already, I thought I would just try out the these new lashes by Sleek and I just glued those on with some lash glue and then just kind of pinched them together with my natural lashes just so they blend so that your, you know, your real lashes don't stick out. And then that is it for the eyes. So there you go. Let's move on to the rest of the face, which is actually quite simple. So for the lips, I wanted to go for again a bright color. You can do nudes, but I think this is way more fun. This is one of the new Maybelline Vivids lipsticks. I think it's called Shocking Coral. It's just a really bright pinkish coral lipstick and I applied that to my lips, of course. On the cheeks, I'm going to use this L'Oreal blush. It's a really gorgeous pink golden tone. I'm going to use a stippling brush and just buff that right into my cheeks. I like it because it's nice and pink, but it's not overbearing, so it's just like shocking, you know? It kind of looks almost like a natural color. look I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and try it out and I love seeing your recreation pictures of my looks so if you want to do this look and you want to show me a picture of how you did it on yourself um, please go and post it either on Facebook um, on my wall or you can also Instagram me the picture just tag me with my Instagram username and I will have a look at it and it's just it's so much fun seeing your guys's recreations I'm actually moving really soon well really soon I'm moving at the end of April so I have a I have a few more months left here just to kind of get everything in order. Um, we've been looking for a new place to live, my boyfriend and I, and we have found the absolute dream place. And it's actually, it's very close to where we're living now, but it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, there's going to be a separate room, which I am going to turn into a studio. So that is going to be my room to film these videos and I'm going to be able to buy um, professional like um, softbox lights and stuff like that just to improve the quality of my videos and also just to get the lighting right because you know in winter it's just a pain to film indoors if you don't have professional lighting because the makeup just never looks color accurate and it's so frustrating because you know I take all this time to get all the colors like perfectly blended and then I look back on the video and everything just looks really murky and sometimes it looks really yellow and I try you know I've tried everything to get the light right here I always do like a white balance and stuff like that but it's just I don't know I guess I'm like a little bit of a perfectionist to you know always have it looking perfect so um yeah I'm really really excited my birthday is on April 27th so I'm gonna be moving like around my birthday which is not so fun but um, I guess I'm going to be able to celebrate my birthday with friends and family and everything in my new place and it's just it's so awesome it's like an absolute dream place and I don't know if I'm going to be doing a room or not like a room tour but like a home tour I guess or house tour I don't know I, I feel a little bit uncomfortable doing that and also like I don't want people to recognize where I live and like stalkers and stuff like that I mean probably most of you aren't isn't that isn't the case obviously but you know I don't know like maybe I will do some videos just um like decorating tips and stuff because where we live now I've kind of never got around to actually decorating the place because I always kind of saw this just like as a temporary thing and so I don't know I just didn't really invest a lot of time and money of course into decorating so the new place that we're moving into is a lot nicer it's like a lot more high quality like the kitchen is really nice and that we have like beautiful hardwood floors and there's an amazing um, terrace outside like a patio where you have a 
view over the entire Alps. Like it's, it's stunning. I am so excited for summer. We're going to be doing barbecue parties and everything like that there. So I'm super excited to be moving. So that's something that's going to be coming up. And, um, obviously that's going to take up a lot of time. I'm really excited to set up my studio. Um, I've already kind of got an idea of how it's going to be because the front of the room that I'm going to be using for my studio is all window. So right now I have kind of my this filming area is right against a wall so I don't have any natural lighting um, and especially in spring and summer when there is a lot of light you can film with natural light so what I'm going to do is in the new studio where I'm going to be working on these videos I'm going to set up my desk so that it's facing the window so that in the summer I can just use natural lighting and I also want to be doing more cooking videos and the new place that we're moving into has a much larger kitchen which I think will probably be also be more conducive whoops got a hair will probably be more conducive to um, doing cooking videos so ah, I'm just so excited I am just you know when you're like so excited about something and it's just yeah, we still have a lot of stuff to do. We still have a lot of lot of stuff to give away to charity or to throw away, like, you know, just things you accumulate over the years. I have been meaning to do the video about Indonesia. A lot of you guys have been asking about that trip. Um, what happened was I had kind of a dispute with my insurance company because something, like, I got really sick in Asia. And um, when I got sick there, I had to go home. Basically, I was like hospitalized there. And so it was just like a nightmare. And then, then when I got back, I had, I had an actual dispute with my um, insurance company because they just didn't want to pay for it. And it was just like ridiculous. So I didn't want to do the video while that was going on just because of, you know, legal issues. If it had now it's all sorted out, like everything's sorted out now. So now I'm like happy about that. So I can finally do the video now. But during that time it was just really stressful I just just didn't want to do a video on it um, because it was just a lot of kind of bad feelings that were surrounding it not the actual trip like not the actual place like Indonesia and the people there and stuff like that but just all the other stuff like getting really sick having to go to a hospital anyway I'll go into it in detail in my video and what I'll do is I actually don't have that many video clips when I was there I, I took a lot of pictures so I will inter intersperse it with pictures and stuff like that so I don't know when I'm gonna film that hopefully I'll have time like this week or something Thing. I know you got, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that. Oh, and I've also been um, filming, um, some of you wanted to know another one of those, have another one of those videos where I just film my kind of nutrition, like what I'm eating. And so I've been doing that, like another food diary. So um, yeah, I've been filming my food diary and I'm gonna be putting that together and putting that on my other channel as well. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I just wanted to do videos like this once in a while where I just talk to you guys and instead of just being like, robot now you put the lipstick here and the eyeshadow you know <laughs> that is it i think so thank you guys so so much for watching um check me out on facebook and on twitter if you want to keep up to date with other stuff that i'm doing outside of youtube i'm always posting also pictures on instagram and all that so that is it i will see you soon bye